Hey, it's Ron and Michelle and Belle. And Belle, and that Belle. rhymes. Ron, Michelle, and Belle. Have you ever thought about doing a radio show? You ever, would you like to be our full-time like host? You could be a co-host with us. That'd be fun, wouldn't it? Wave at everybody out there. Belle, tell us your story. This girl is crazy. We love her. Tell us your story. Well, I was born with a kidney disease, and um, I went into re renal failure. Right. And they, they, when they checked me, they didn't know that I had a kidney disease. Right. So, um, when I. When I was at home one day, I was just playing around and having fun and running and stuff. And um, I was about to come home from the hospital, and the doctors said, "Let's do, let's do one more blood pressure." One more, right? Mhm. Mm so my mom said, "But we have to go home. There's a lot of traffic." And stuff. <laughs> so we gotta get home and stuff like that, because there's a lot of traffic. But she finally said yes. And so they checked it, and they that's the time when they found my kidney disease. And a doctor came in the living room with a chair. And my mom knew that chair represented not really good news. Yeah. Because my dad lost his job, and, they, um, and my mom was going to give me her kidney so my dad can get a job. So my mom said they have, that she had to do three tests. They found out she had breast cancer once they oh, checked Oh, wow. Her. Wow. So then uh, she was very, very, very sick. She was this close to me. Right. Yeah. And so my dad gave me his kidney, and everybody's doing fine. And my mom is about two years cancer-free. Yay! How about that? Yay. Now, we want to ask you, this is a great story. You can tell a great story. What about... Why should people that are watching or listening right now, why should they give to the Children's Miracle Network? Why is that so important? Because, well, specifically you should do that because all those kids that are sick, you have to like donate money and raise money to those hospitals. Right. So they can have enough money mm -hmm. to help those children, help their sickness and them that are in need. Because some people just don't make it, but my hospital, they really, really saved my life. Yep. And so you should do that because some some kids don't even make it and they really need, because that, the hospitals that are helping them and caring for them need money so they can help those children and get the sickness away from them. So That's they crazy. Help. You are very, very smart at 10. Has anybody ever told you that? Mm -hmm. You are, you speak like you're an adult, which is so crazy to me. And um, I'm willing to bet that this is one of many medals that you're going to get. How many yep. do you already have? I have one from flag football. Oh, what so you play flag football. football. <laughs> and I have, a trof I have two trophies from a beauty pageant. You do beauty pageants too? <laughs> what do you not do? What do you not like? She likes everything. Do you like trophies. vegetables? I love vegetables. <laughs> but There's I'm nothing wrong with her. Let me tell you something. One of my brothers. <laughs> she just said one of her brothers doesn't like vegetables. Right. Which one? Chandler. Does he like Brussels Chandler. sprouts? He is very picky about his food. But That's you're me. not picky. You, you don't have no, any pickiness. I like everything. I like right. macaroni, vegetables, no, anything. You got to tell him a story that you went to the White House not too long ago and you got to meet Michelle Obama, right? Sure did. So how? <laughs> sure did. Tell us about that. You had to wait a long time to meet her, right? It was like a, like a couple hours. Yeah. And what did you say to her when she came out? Well, when she came out, um, she said, how long have you been here since you have been waiting for me? And I said, almost two hours. <laughs> <laughs> almost two hours. What did she say back? Like, actually. Like, did she two laugh? Two. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and then I said, she smells so good. <laughs> what about the White House? Was the White House cool? Was it big? It was great, but we didn't get to go in it. Oh, you didn't get to go in it? You should have demanded a tour. You strike me as the type of person that we would say, take go, me inside. Yeah, we got to go in one of the buildings that usually probably Obama has meetings in yeah. or something. Right. There was lots of rooms. And so, yeah. And, but yeah. Did you have time to go to Disney while you were here? Uh, not yet. I've not been around the parks yet. Oh, Never so you, you're going to go though, right? What's the one thing you want to do at the park? Do you know? Me princesses. Because tonight, um, there's, we're going to have a dinner. Dinner? Which princess do you want to meet out of all the princesses? 
Elsa. I knew it. It's always frozen. <laughs> Elsa. And Elsa, and Elsa and Anna. And right, listen, I want you to but you said favor. Elsa first. I know. <laughs> you see that camera right there? I want you to stand up and get real close all by yourself. I want you to get, look right into that thing. And I want you to tell people that they need to donate right now to the Children's Miracle Network. Everybody who is listening to this and watching it or listening to it on the radio, donate money to the hospitals because there's lots of children in need and they really need to, you know, get better with, because you need to give money to those hospitals. So be sure you do so you can, um, um, what is it? Oh, yeah. So those kids will get better with all that money because the hospitals need money to help those children and save lives. Yeah. Thank you Good so job. much for talking to us. That Good was awesome. Job. Yeah, give us high fives oh. around. That's awesome. We love it. Donate, yes. donate, donate, please. Donate money. Donate money and save lives. <laughs>